so I want to make a cart that will hold all the common stuff I use in the shop when I'm working on something like blocks, chains, jacks, sledgehammer, pry bar, cheater bars, things like that. And I want to put some of the stuff from the trailer toolbox on it too because that toolbox is getting full and I don't need this stuff all the time so when you need it you can just roll the cart over to the trailer and if you're working on something you can just roll the cart right up to it. Kind of a dual, a do all cart. Um, I got this cart right here. I think that's what I'm going to use. This is a folding chair cart. They put all the folding chairs on it and then you can roll them away. I got this on an auction for like five bucks and I thought it'd be perfect for something like this. So this is kind of what you're looking at. They're not real heavy duty but I can, I can put my full body weight up on this bar here and it's not a problem. See, it's pretty tough. It'll definitely hold up some chains and binders. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up some of these blocks so they just fit down here on the bottom rack. You always need blocks. You gotta sometimes brace things up. You gotta push against things with the wood blocks. It's always nice to be able to set things on blocks and not leave it on jacks. There's a lot of different uses for hammering on things. pattern that makes just from those boards being put together it's got a cool look to it you gotta be careful not to catch a nail on this stuff this is some old lumber that was left behind I hit a bullet once There. That'll be really nice to have when you're working on something. And you're not walking all over looking for blocks. They're all in one spot. You're not making trips back and forth. You can pull the whole cart right over to you. Alright, I want to make something now that I can hang chains and binders off of the top. And I want them just to go down into a bucket. That way they're not hanging all over the place and dragging on the floor. And when they're hanging from the chain, it's easy to figure out, or hanging from the top, it's easy to figure out which one you want. So. I think that'd be the best way to do it. So I just got this metal cutting blade for a circular saw. Looking forward to seeing how that does. I, I didn't know those things even existed. I heard about it from somebody because I was looking for a different kind of metal saw. The grinder sometimes just takes too long to do everything. I was looking at getting a plasma cutter and I still might, but I'm, let's just see how this does. see the teeth are a lot smaller. These are supposed to be carbide. So this is, well this stuff's not real thick. This is only eighth inch, eighth inch angle iron. does a pretty good job. I like that. It's a nice cut too. I'm boxing these 
bucket so they can't shift around if the blocks aren't there or something. I don't want them to be able to fall inwards. Okay, so that's locked in where it's at. Road signs make some awesome fabricating metal, and my local junkyard, they'll sell it to me for aluminum price, so I just go through the pile and pick out some nice square sheets, and that's what I actually line my bench top with, those old road signs, and uh, they're, they're really nice. Blade, that's quick. That would have taken me a long time in the angle grinder. I got that blade, uh, it's an El Diablo. I got that at Home Depot. So I want to make a hanger that goes across this bar that I can hang all my chain on and then they'll go down and sit in the bucket. So I don't want it to stick out any wider than the base, so I'll measure out the base. Looks like 19 and we'll say a quarter. So that's what I'll cut this to. Longer ones on one side, and shorter on the other. There, it gives you a lot of space for a lot of chains. Probably the easiest way is to put your shackles right on the rack. You need anything special for those. binders.
There, that's really nice. I like that so far. See if we can make it a little better yet. Right, this is the stuff I got to go yet. I got the floor jacks, bottle jack, and the pipe and sledgehammer and pry bar. And I want to leave room to be able to add more stuff later. Uh, finish welding that up. Okay, the idea is you can put all your handled stuff in here. stuff back in there. That all goes in there pretty nice. It's pretty good. I think I can just put the bottle jack on the floor where all the, the tools are. floor jacks in there though they'll take up too much space so I could probably just hang them off the sides I don't think it'll hurt those hanging sticking with my scrap metal theme uh, for making hangers for those floor jacks I think I'll just use some roller chain and you can just bend it whatever shape you want and weld up the links since this whole cart's just recycled metal and things I had laying around this really fits the bill looks authentic.
really bugs me, this one doesn't have a handle for it. The other one's too big, so I think I got a piece of pipe. I'm really happy how this turned out. It keeps everything organized, I can find it. A lot of this stuff you tend to just shove alongside the wall or you pile it up somewhere and you can't find it. It sits on the floor and it rusts. You're kicking it around all the time. Uh, here it's all on one cart. It's easy to find. Everything's got a home and when you're doing something you can roll it right over to what you're doing. So you got your binders right there. You got room for more. You got your chains. You got plenty of room for more. And they're neat and tight tidy in the bucket so I kind of graded it so you got long chain and short chain uh, I got a lot more chain to put on here yet you got room for stuff with handles and things that are long like pry bars and pipes and sledgehammer put your clevis right up here you know you could you could put you could easily put more bars up here if you had more stuff to hang and you got your floor jacks hanging on the sides they're out of the way and bottle jack down there and you got all your blocks when you got a crib something up or just block something. You need blocks quite a bit when you're doing shop stuff. It did surprise you. So I also made another cart kind of similar to this a while back. I'll show you it's over here. It's on wheels just like that one and it just it's for a lot of my loose smaller stuff. You see here I put a bunch of these little cabinets that I got on an auction and it gives you a whole lot of storage space for small trinkets and things that you would lose normally. You got your hose clamps and stuff up here and you, you know you got other hangers. So all kinds of little things, put a little shelf on it. And then there's space down here for bigger things, you got space to hang more stuff. And on the front of it, on the front here I put a little workbench on it. So if you got to pull things out of drawers you can sort through things or you can use it as another work table. I hung a little medicine cabinet up there just because I had it. And on the back side is my electrical side. So I made hangers so you can hang up spools of wire, whatever you got, different, different grades of wires, maybe some spare extension cords or power cords. Uh, more cabinets down here. Let me turn this light down. So I got all my electrical components and things in these drawers, stuff that I use a lot of. Uh, I got my just wiring for the barns and things, all those components and stuff that I use. So everything's got a home. It's all neat and tidy. I know where everything is all the time. And down here I put a pipe through this little hanger so I can put my spool of the wire down here. So it gives you a lot of space. You know, you got plenty of room to expand onto these. And the nice thing is, is you can roll them around. If you got a job you're doing, you can just roll it right over to the job. It's got everything you need on it. You know, if you don't do stuff like this, it tends to get all piled in a drawer. It gets shoved up in a corner, you know, and you just lose the stuff. So that's why I made these. I might make some more for some different things um, that I have, but I, I really like them. Right now they got big barrels of oil in front of them, but it's not always there. Now, for those of you that watched my working on a hay rake video, I did get it painted. So here's a little look at my end result here. I painted all the rotating parts yellow and all the stationary stuff for the most parts green. So I'm pretty happy how that looks too. It's not the top of the line paint job by any means but it looks good from across the field so I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching guys.